Zing Zing is like, hi, hello, hello. So, um, man. <sighs> Let's get into this. Hey guys, it's up, it's me, Luray. So if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I'm always tweeting about how men just deserve all right. I always tweet about how much I love men. Personally, you guys, I honestly think that men haircuts should be free. Only because they go through so much. Like the army, you know, just honestly just having to hold down this house. Like, I don't think they should have to pay 40 or $20 for a haircut. I think that shadow fate should be free. <sighs> get so much dick after this video. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie, bitch. Yes, I tweet about how much I hate men on Twitter all the time. I just constantly am tweeting, man ain't shit, men deserve nothing but just despair and hell. And then I log off the app and then I go onto my phone and I text my man. I'm like, hey baby, did you eat today? Smoke weed every day. And I'm only saying this because, you know, I don't hate all men. There's men out there that we all love and adore. And I think they deserve a fucking hug, like Harry Styles, Aww. every member of BTS, Dream, George Not Bound, Frank Ocean, fucking Tom Holland. The list goes on. Bernie Sanders. Bad bitch. So it comes with that great community of men that deserve nothing but the world. It comes with a community of men that are misogynistic, homophobic, and honestly like to body shame. So let's get into it today, shall we? So let me get this straight. You want to make fun of this dude for looking fat upside down. When she looks like an upside down Dorito, people are like, oh, live your life, girl. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he ate that up. <laughs> My first question is, the conversation was about 50 cents. Why the fuck did you mention Lizzo? Does he add up? I don't even want to raise my voice because by the looks of your face, you look like the type of bitch that would bite me. You know, you remind me of a pit bull. And I'm, I'm actually terrified for my life. And I'm actually scared to even be talking to you right now because I know you're going to see this video. And I know if you did see me in the streets, you would bite my leg off. Hey, how y'all? Get your fucking dog, bitch. It don't bite. Yes, it do. Bitch, you look like the Goomba from Super Mario. And the fact that you had the audacity to come for Lizzo? To be quite frankly honest with you, I don't think anybody who support Lizzo would go and body shame another human being. Lizzo supports body positivity, so why the fuck would her community go and attack some- <gasps> Context clues. As I use Lizzo as an example, as if she didn't have to struggle with the backlash of her weight. I'ma just, I'ma let you sit on this one, baby. You know what? Go outside, touch some grass. That's fine, oh, but I shouldn't we'll get again. shit on when I say I'm not attracted to fat girls and I will not date a fat girl. Wait. <laughs> Como se dice like, diarrea en África? She didn't even... She... BB, what's going on, BB? Abunda la caca. Okay, first of all, Forrest Gump. Oh. I don't know if your brain is scrambled from all the pre-workout, but the joke just went right it just went right over your head. Women are allowed to have preferences, whether if she wants a dad bod or a skinny man or a meathead, she can choose who she wants. But in her video, she just says she prefers somebody with a little more chub than a fucking bodybuilder. What's wrong with that? She didn't say anything bad or body shamed anybody. And buddy, I know it's so hard to consume videos like that and understand them, especially when, you know, your brain's not functioning because the only thing you consume is chicken and rice and pre-workout. It's just like your message didn't really like, which, which I mean, you couldn't wait your whole life without making this video. What's crazy is I used to like Sid the Sloth until this video. Um, wait. <laughs> oh shit, here we go again. I'm gonna just skip this one because, baby, I know he was bullied in high school and I don't want to cause no more traumatic damage. Hey, if you got they or them, they, them in your bio or fucking she, her, fuck off. Fuck off. Dude, that's what I was gonna. <laughs> that's what I. Did I see that right? Hold on. Hold on. You ruined me, fine China! I'll slap you with my cock, and you two, get the fuck out of bed! I'll slap both your asses, and then I'll make you slap each other's asses. Now so much, you can barely say them. <laughs> One thing I don't understand is why is it so fucking hard for people to just respect other people's pronouns. Can you, can you answer that question for me, please? It just doesn't make sense. But listen here, brother, since you have so much mouth, <laughs> I want to hear you say Mississippi. 
I I really do. I want to hear you literally. Then we can talk about him. Okay? Do y'all remember King Joffrey from Game of Thrones? Yes. This is him now.